Hello everybody, welcome back for Starcraft 2 action. We're here in Group C of the ESL Spring 2024 Open Bracket, and we got more Bjorn going up against the Lambo this time around, so another Zerg victim perhaps. Let's see how the Korean stands up against the European style of Zerg. Now, last video we saw Bjorn do Double Racks Reaper basically every game versus Sue. And on this map specifically, Bjorn put like a Rax over here. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. He would two Rax, but he would hide the one Barracks. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it again. Yep, we see it again. Now let's see how Lambo deals with it. Bjorn and Sue played this map as well. And it wasn't the first map that they played, so Sue already was kind of showing how he would respond to a two racks that he would see with his Overlord. But funnily enough, Lambo's not sending his Overlord straight across the map. He's using both of his Overlords to scout the map. And if we look at Lambo's vision, he's seen a lot around his base. But sadly, he is missing out on that barrack scout. So he's going to have to go purely off of seeing how fast the Reapers trickle in. And we're going to see multiple Reapers here. Only one gas. And soon after, I'm expecting a CC. I mean, we've seen Byun do this build a couple times now. Versus Sue. And this is probably played right after that series. Or was played right after that series. Still one drone and gas. Going to finish up the speed. Interesting to see if as soon as he identifies that the Reapers are coming so fast, he might even add back into gas, but it's for such a short while. Lamb was going for a third base now. I was saying that this is kind of the thing that Byun is denying versus Sue, or was denying versus Sue because of um, the amount of Reapers that come so early. Look at that. Four Lings versus two Reapers. The Queen only halfway done. The drones getting bruised already. These Lings are going to get sacrificed, and now more Lings have to be made. Buildings have to be made to save the drones. And, oh, <laughs> makes an Evo Chamber because the Spore dies too fast. Now the Queens are out, but this is so much lost mining time and just lost money, of course. Look at this. Now speed is underway, but it's a little late. The third base is almost done. The Queen slightly out of position. The Lings not in position to stop these... Reapers, one Eva does get built. No drones just died. One drone finally dies. A fourth Reaper comes in even. Four Reapers. Byun is committing here. Oh my god. Nice spore play there in the natural. Dude. Lambo surviving, but he's getting... Um, getting the runaround here. Oh, this made so many links. That feels so bad. Oh no. I guess you have to make six links against Byun for the rest of the uh, series now. And even then, like this third base being built so early by Lambo, kind of biting him in the ass here. Might go for a slightly later hatchery in the next game, because he just can't use it right now. It's a little down on drones, and just an awkward position in general. These four Reapers being uh, a pain in the butt. No creep tumors have been placed yet. Now finally the first one does go down. And you want to make sure that the Reapers can't click that down. Probably not going to happen. And on the other side, we see the Hellions being added on here by Byun. A third CC. Byun is in a beautiful position. Going to be seeing those engineering bays go down sooner that, rather than later. I expect two more Hellions coming out. We do have a bunch of Speedlings here wrapping around the Reapers. Oh, they're not, probably not going to catch him. Oh, they do get one, they get two. That's two Reapers. Oh, the Lings slightly overextend. Get one Fire Blast to the face. More of a flamethrower, I suppose, but... Okay, Lambo's in this. He's making his drones. He's got enough Lings to survive. What does he know? There's a, no Starport just yet. Super late Starport with this. Oh, this poor Overlord is going to go down. The Marines, though, out of position. The Lings... Grab the Marines, and the Lynx now got to get out. They're going to get burned by the Hellions once or twice, but it was a good attempt by uh, by Lambo. If he catches those Marines, he can just put his 
Uh, Overlord back. Surprised that he didn't just rush it into the base, but... 1-1 one, one has been started. How many Hellions do we have? Four Hellions. One more underway. And I wouldn't be surprised to see the Armory come up after the Starport again. And we see Bion go for that, like, one tank. Uh, or no, zero tanks, I think. Hellbat and two Medivac. Uh, Stim 1-1 one, one push. He's been showing that every game we've seen of him. And Lambo securing himself a fourth position already. Uh, position for his fourth. Not going for the gold, because can be very annoying. Queen's going to shoo away. The Hellings and the Reaper here. Those links chilling. Maybe catching these Reapers and Hellions when they move command away. The links ah, get one Hellion, almost a secondary Hellion. Now, 20 links have died so far, but only two drones. So because Lambo did make a bunch of links, but no drone losses, I think he's okay here. We do see the Metavax coming out. You see the tank behind it. You see the armory. So again, we're going to have the Hellbats, the 1-1 one, one Stimmarines. 1-1 one, one not quite done yet. So this is actually o okay for Lambo, but we do not have Baneling speed. So we want to see good Baneling connections. This looks a lot like the first game, Sue versus Bjorn. And Bjorn just clicked on the six Banelings. They died and the game was over. The links are coming in from behind. And only one bailing left now. No extra bailings were being created. And this doesn't look good for uh, Lambo. If he doesn't have a critical mass of Zerglings here, still this one Hellbad being super annoying. Extra bailings coming up. Okay, Lambo survives. That is good. But the second wave is coming up. We have combat shields and tanks now. So every time Bjorn just has an additional trick up his sleeve... And one or two tanks over here is going to be really annoying. And he's going to bust down these rocks, open up an avenue for himself to go into the fourth base. These lings give themselves for the cause. Oh, queens get a couple hits on the medevacs. That is nice. These medevacs are super low. No energy. One tank. Oh my god, no way. Some of the banelings get shaved off right away. The queens get targeted. Now the banes come in. That's a good hit. But nothing to follow up. These Marines are completely red. And Lambo has to GG out here in game number one. Oh, these Lings even from behind, but the fourth base probably forfeit here. Uh, poor Lambo, dude. He droned up really greedily. Wasn't expecting that follow-up push so fast. Look at this. The barracks aren't even done. Doesn't have that much at home. Like, it wouldn't be weird for Bion to, like, recoup a little bit, wait for two or three tanks, but no, he just went without medevac energy, no additional medevacs just yet. Is, am I right? Yeah, no additional medevacs. It's a bit of a weird timing for Bion to be attacking here. And Lambo gets got in this game number one. And here we are in game number two, Lambo going up against Bion. Bion taking game number one. Pretty solidly just showing the same two racks opener that Bjorn has been showing uh, so far in the Zerg versus Terran matchup. And Lambo seemed to be struggling a little bit with that two racks build because he didn't see the two racks at any point. He didn't send an overlord straight across to see it. He was flying his overlords around to make sure that no proxy racks could kill him. And that is what he is kind of uh, accusing Bjorn of. That Bjorn would be somebody that would do that. And we see one Rax this time around with a gas and nothing else. So Bjorn looks to be actually going for a one Rax expand. And I kind of like that on this map. Like the golden minerals just give you that much more income if you just build it faster. Zergs, of course, are always appreciative of gold bases as a natural. I know people remember that map where you got a gold base as a third base. And Zergs has always took it as a natural. And it was just the most Zerg map ever created. I think you could even take a third base as a, as a gold as well. And you could just have 25 drones and go mass ling versus any type of aggression and hold it off. So you'd have to go into a macro game versus a Zerg who has two gold bases. 
Now that's not fun. Because <laughs> there's like five hatcheries on the map before you know it. And they can do anything behind that. So Bion is going for that one Rax expand, only one Reaper into a Marine. But this is the first time that he shows this. How many Lings did we get from Lambo? He made zero Lings, actually. Zero. Now we get the first Reaper into the Mineral Line here, but no Lings were made by Lambo. He's just making spores up from that drone. I was expecting it to go down because the Queen bumped into it. Oh, no! He cancels! What? Oh, one drone does go down. That sucks. I hope it doesn't tilt him because that is quite annoying. And Lambo now has 100 gas, ready for speed. But he's just droning. He's being very greedy. And I kind of like it. Bion, on the other hand, super greedy. Starting his third CC before the second one is even done. Sadly, not a fourth one. No spirit style. And just getting a barracks. Ooh, triple barracks before a factory. Bion is going to have a lot of marines here. This is starting to look like a disgusting timing attack here from Bion with a lot of bio. Only one drone going down, losing a little bit of money by having to make the spores. But Lambo is good here. He's uh, sitting pretty, making two extra queens. His third is almost done. So he's not too unhappy. Got those SCVs on the golden patches. And we have a tech lab underway. We're going to see Stim here, I presume. Any second now. Boom, Stim is operational. Next 100 gas might go to a factory. If he wants to have any amount of medevacs with this, if he wanted a plus one upgrade, he would have an engineering bay already. There comes the factory and a third gas. And the third base is now done. We're ready to make some more SCVs, drop the mules. So both players kind of greeting it up here on post youth, which of course this map does kind of lend itself to that. You need to mine out four workers worth of minerals uh, to get into this wall. So we've seen, I think Estrella did it uh, in PvP, I think versus Trigger. Yeah, yeah, I cast that uh, SC2 safe house tournament recently. And he mined this mineral out with four probes and then just went in with adepts. Which, in PvP, it's obviously quite annoying to have adepts in your main base the whole time. Oh, this Reaper actually getting in. Sees the double Evo. Oh, the drone's not pulled off the line. And the Lynx come in. Swoop in and kill that Reaper. The main base hasn't been seen, so there could be a lair, but we know that there is no lair. How many marines are we up to? 60 marines almost have stim. And it's just a naked marine push. 1-1 one, one has just started. This is just a suicide squad. And I kind of like this to do, to do this myself when I'm uh, playing Terran, because I'm very bad at Terran. But this build is, uh, you know, or this type of build is pretty straightforward. Just run in with your marines, you press stim when you want to fight, and then you just you don't want to save them, you just want to get value. And this might actually just be a move out and move back. That is interesting. Look at the amount of units that Lambo has to make here. 20 links, starting a lair and a bailing nest. I don't know if these guys practice together. They are both on Shopify, so they might. But in StarCraft 2, that's never really been a thing. That... Being on the same team doesn't mean you practice together. I mean, mules should actually just give vision, right? If they spawn from the sky, they are air units. Why don't they give vision of uh, overlords and stuff? Fourth base for Lambo going down. And a fifth base. I love that. One can get cancelled. No problem. And now the medevacs are out. 1-1 one, one is halfway done. And there's also a tank on her way. I would be a little surprised if Bjorn attacks already. Oh, that's a big Ling run by Bjorn, though. Catches... The Ling run by as and he sees it in the- Oh no! No, 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 no! The Lings run into the Stim Marines. That hurts. Loses a couple Lings there. 20 Lings have died this game. That was definitely not fun. And plus one melee is already done. Carapace is a little late. You kind of want to prioritize Carapace um, versus Terran. Now, it's going to finish before a relevant fight happens, but this fourth base on the gold is definitely going to go down. I mean, you could try to defend it if you're Lambo, but look at the awkward position you are in. 
You don't have Banelink Speed. You don't have Creep. So, might have to take another uh, outside base here. And this area is so choked up for Bjorn. Imagine getting a siege tank over there and over there. It's going to be really rough to fight here as a Zerg. And Lambo committed to making a lot of units. 55 drones and lots of Ling Bing Ling. So he's ready to fight for his own map control. We do have this fourth base. And we have another hatchery going up somewhere. Oh, there we go. And big surround here coming out by Lambo. No Baneling speed just yet. And the 1-1 one -one Marines do arrive. The Medivacs making it a pretty efficient trade. And more Marines arriving. I mean, the surface area wasn't too great for Lambo. Off of creep as well. And I don't know if you can hold your fourth base here. Look at the creep spread. It's non-existent on that side. And oh my god, all of Lambo's units are on the right side. Going for a run by, completely abandoning the fourth base here. Oh, yo, no, these tanks. This looks disgusting. How do you ever defend? I don't think he wants to defend this siege tank at home. He's going to clean this up, but a lot of SCVs are going to fall. Doomdrop in the natural here for Lambo. And he's not responding just yet. 18 SCVs have died. But drones are also falling in the natural of Lambos. A moving into a marine line. Losing a couple links for that. The third base has been saved. And the queens in the front. Oh no, they got baited in by the marines and the tanks. That hurts. They aggro and you don't pay attention for two seconds. All of a sudden half your army just runs into stint marines. 2-2 two, two, halfway done for Bjorn and Lambo actually ahead in those upgrades now. Plus one, almost done, and Kerpus is pretty close by as well. Infestation pit for the hive tech is coming up as well. I don't expect infestors to make their way in. Actually, the natural getting targeted down by these three medevacs full of marines. And a Lambo taps out, lost his fourth base, lost his natural. Didn't even have another fourth base done. The gold base felt untakeable. And, I mean, if you don't take these rocks out at all you don't have big creep spread this game becomes so rough and i mean both players were pretty passive in this game remember like Pyun did one move out with marines at like six minutes maybe five minutes before that they were totally passive there was one reaper so i feel like Pyun should have or uh lambo could have had a little bit more creep spread could have been a little bit more aggressive at killing all these rocks but lambo had a different plan and Pyun, i mean Kind of owned him. 2-0 for the Korean Terran here. Lambo's got to fight his way through the loser bracket now. I think this is for qualification, though. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it was pretty deep into the open bracket. That's it. That's only a best of three. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.